بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today is that great day. The arrival, the great arrival, the departure of Hudud Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. On this very occasion, there has been five speakers in this Darbar Sharif, Rajar Bhak Darbar Sharif, Hakka Bangladesh. The first speaker spoke about the very great incidents, the events that took place during his arrival. And second speaker spoke about his very titles, the very Lakab Mubarak that has been given to him. And the third speaker spoke about his respect, honor and other things. Finally, Finally, someone spoke, final speaker spoke about a very great honor to the Pakistan and in the honor of his family, uh, as Azhab and Aswa, about spending, celebrating, spending money and celebrating the Sayyidul Ayyad Sharif, which is the greatest of the Eid, Sayyidul Ayyad. About this thing. The first speaker The first speaker spoke about the incidents took place during the very arrival of the Prophet. There were certain things that took place during his arrival. All the great wisdom, all the great wisdom and all the great stories, happenings, incidents that took place, people could discuss, people could go on and on, but the significance and the importance and all its relevance would never be finished, can never be ended. This will continue till the Kiyama, day of Kiyama. The first speaker discussed about about the very significance of the Pakistan. Without creating whom Allah would not have created anything else in this world. That that he has taken place. That the incident has taken place on this great world on in this month of Sayyid, in this month of Rabiul Awal Sharif, which is the one of the greatest months that is Sayyidul Ayyad, best of the leader of the Eid. Eid is the happiness. It was a day, a Monday. It was at the end of the night, beginning of the day, time of dawn, that he arrived in this world. Makkah Sharif was delighted, greatly delighted. All the world expressed its delight, happiness and joy. Everybody rejoiced. All the Farishta, all the Farishta, 
they spread this news to the whole of the world about the great arrival of Hazrat Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And at that time, the during the time of the arrival, all the statues were broken, were diminished in his honor. He is the owner of the best lineage in this world. He is his great, respected grandfather. Did the best for his arrival and his respected mother. She was given the best honor for holding him. That that he has come into this world, the whole world expressed their happiness. Everybody else in his family, everybody else on this world. And on this occasion, the whole world was decorated, the heavens were decorated. Allah Pak declared that He had created everything on this earth only to honor His great friend. Nuri Majasam Habibullah Hujur Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And whatever could be expressed through language. The incidents, the celebrations were much, much more than that, which could be expressed now, which we are expressing now. Allah Pak Himself expressed His joy and delight that He is sending Rasul Pak Islam on this hour, on this 12 of Rabiul Awal Sharif. And that's the reason that the whole universe, everybody should in his honor express their joy and happiness and rejoice this day, celebrate this day with it with great honor and respect, with great pomp and grandeur. He has expressed he has expressed that, and he has also asked Hudhu Pakistan al that please tell your, tell the whole world that as a gift, as a, as a gift and as a piece of, as a token of mercy and blessings that the whole world has brought you, they should express their best, express their happiness and they should rejoice this day. Because I have sent you as a piece of best rahma, best blessings to this world. Therefore, we ask Allah the ability to express that, to celebrate that, all the possible abilities, domestic, financial, physical, all abilities. And that is why it is our responsibility take bayat of our, our shayat alayhi and get his best guidance and directions from him to perform all these blessed jobs. In the, had in the Hadith Sharif it has been decided that the way a prophet is among his subjects, the murid, the la, disciples, a shaykh is like that among his disciples. As Allah says,
Alla Bakse. Alla Bakse. One who the one who is deprived of the hedayat, hedaya, he will never get hedayat from Allah Pak. One who is been deprived by Allah. This is because of what? Because of the because of his misconceptions. If he has got wrong something wrong in his ideas, in his concept about or shy about Allah Pak. And his Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it is our responsibility. It is a rather a must to ex- accept by Shaykh and not only by Shaykh, by us. Perform all the perform all the activities, all the directions that he gives. Performing all the daily rituals, doing zikr every day. And coming in contact, that is Sahabat, and with greatest respect and all, he has to do, he has to perform all this. Only then, only then he will be able to perform all these jobs. Now, one has taken a bias point, then he is coming in Sahabat. So, if he doesn't come in contact regularly, if he doesn't accept his guidelines or follow his guidelines, even after taking discipleship, he is deprived of the blessings. Allah Pak said in, his, in the Hadith Shaykh, it, it has been declared. But Allah Pak says, one, one who maintains an enmity with my Wali Allah, with my Wali, I declare jihad against him. Someone maintains a bad concept, a wrong concept against the Shayat. Allah Pak himself declares war against him, jihad against him. So what would be his condition? Now the Bilbao. And that person will be destroyed forever against whom Allah Pak himself declares war or jihad. So therefore, one has to do the best possible, he has to think deeply and perform all the rituals with minute, in minute details. He has to come in contact frequently and with deep respect, with deep respect and manner, he has to come in contact. He has to achieve the sahabat and accept the shayat's guidance and directions in order to follow them minutely in detail. That is why Sahabat is a very great important great thing and important thing. And then the next speaker next speaker spoke about the solar calendar. A calendar which has been made as per the solar timings and all. We have a lunar calendar, a history calendar, also a solar calendar. We have to understand that, analyze that, and follow its details. Following the history calendar is the highest sunnah because. For Muslim, a lunar, that is a crescent and a sun, both are important. Both are appearing and moving, continuing the duties in its very fixed line that has been given, bestowed by Allah. So, 
he Allah Park Allah Park made the Christian uh, very soft source of light and Allah Park made sun a bright greatest source of light and energy Allah Park declared that I that I have fixed up the present and all that you can count the days and follow the different uh, occasions of the world for fasting for starting the month of Ramadan also this very day the third of third of regular show it you have to follow the lunar calendar and the solar calendar for doing performing the pilgrimage Hajj for appearing on the field of Arafah for doing Purbani the Hijri calendar has been directly given by given by the Pakistan and also at the same time there was a requirement of a, of a solar calendar it was that was required for the Muslims but what Muslims are doing 570 years after Hazrat Isa alayhi salam is the Pakistan had on this hour but people are following people are following a calendar from that side but people, Muslims should have been following incidents from the time of Hudri Pakhtar and Awali Islam. Where Muslims were following the non-Muslim calendar. This, we should think deeply, we should analyze and for a Muslim, in every step, we should follow Hudri Pakhtar and Awali Islam. His ideas, his activities, everything. Allah Park said, if you want to get me, get my knowledge, get Rasul Pakistan Allah Park Islam. His activities, his words, his deeds and everything, follow him. That is why we, we have published a solar calendar which you can see the dates and other things which is easier to follow and there will be no mistake no time gap so everyone must collect one see them and follow them now that the world is moving on on GMT Greenwich Mean Time why should we follow Greenwich as per the calendar, as per the geographical location, the Kaaba Sharif is the center of the world. The time should be basing on that. The meridian, the line from Kaaba, it should be KMT, Kaaba Sharif mean time. Allah Park said the Kaaba Sharif, the Makkah, Kaaba Sharif is the first, very first, very first residence building in this world. It has been created in the very first and that is in the center. So the time and everything should be based around Kaaba. few years back, a couple of years back, we asked the Saudi authority to fix up the time, to fix up the time based on Kaaba. And so, we approached the Saudi authority, Saudi authority, and they thought about it. And and they finally responded to the uh, to our proposal they made a big watch 
that in order to make KMT the followable time, Kaaba Sharif main time, it was a huge amount of money to be spent, had to be spent for making this wall. And the Shamsi calendar, the solar calendar, if you follow that, if you follow that, one follows that calendar will be paying all his attention toward Hussein Pakistan. It has been, it has been, it has been declared in Surah Fatiha that that uh, Ya Allah Pak, please give us that part whom have you blessed? Who are those blessed? The, the Nabi, the, the Siddiqs, the Shaheed Martyrs and the Soli, those who are in the path of Allah Pak. The Siddiqs, those who are, who have followed Allah path. That means Allah has said that those who are paying attention to me, you follow them. Not the... Give us, give us that, that path that you have blessed and not those paths, those who have been, those who have been deprived of Allah's blessings, those who have been cast. So how it would come? People, if, if Muslims follow some non-Muslim oriented calendars, they will be lost. And Kaaba Shaykh bin Tan is only three hours different from our time. So we, we can easily follow that and it will be better for us, easier for us. And these are all explained in great details from the publications from publication from Radha Bakshay from here and all those references that we are quoting are never available in any other materials, any other literature of the world. We are giving all the details, everything with reference, solid references. Allah please take care of us so that we can follow in detail your path and your principles. The next speaker. Next speaker spoke about the Nur Mubarak, the very uh, praises and applauses about Nur i Majasam Habibullah Huzi Pakhtarullah Wa Rehu Sallam. It has really been described in details. Many, many references have been given to understand the Hadith Sharif. One ayah, one, hadith, one Hadith Sharif, 
Abdullah referred that which was the thing that was created by Allah Pak in the very first. Then he expressed, then he explained that it was my nur which Allah Pak created. Then Hazrat Zabir Aslam asked where it was there. And Allah Pak he replied, it was in the Kudrat of Allah, it, it was in the power of Allah. He said, Allah did not create anything before creating this nur. And if that is so, Allah did not create the sun, the moon, the world, the ferishta, nothing. People say, Nuri Majin Haikullah Hudipak Tosan is made created out of fire, earth. But it is said, he, he has been created before everything. That means the world, the, the soil, the ground, these were later creations. But Hudipak Tosan was created much before, the, much before that. So how he should be made out of soil? People say, that is why you have to purify our concept, make make our ideas right, correct, about the Pakistan, about Allah Pak. If it is not done, one will be greatly deprived from the blessings of Allah Pak. And one who is deprived from Allah Pak's blessings, he will never realize what is what's wrong what's wrong with him or Allah Allah Pak says these people are made for the hell. They will be burnt in the hell. Because of their because of their wrong concept, bad concept. Concept question of concept is a great thing. It's a very important thing. They'll have their eyes, they will have their ears, but they will never hear the right thing. They will have their ears, but they will be able to see the right thing. They'll be lost like blind. So the jinns, among many among the jinns, many among the human beings, will not be able to realize the significance of Allah Pak and the honor and dignity of Rasulullah Wasallam. They are like animals. Even if someone is teaching an animal hundred times, thousand times in front of him, they will never understand. And those those uh, 
inattentive people neg negligent people are worse worse than the animals even if a cow or a dog is given thousands of years of uh, life and lot of lectures and lessons are given to him or them they never realize and these people are even more than them allah was said the animal doesn't understand after hundreds of hundreds of years of teaching about the rituals of Islam, how somebody worse than them could understand the same thing. Even after, even after having hundreds of references and examples and incidents, they will never realize. And that is why the blessings, the honor, the dignity, the very significance of Nuri Majasam Habibullah Ubay Bakhtullah Wa Yusullam is so much beyond any limits that no one would ever understand. Even if the whole world, whole humankind keeps on writing thousand years till Kiyama, they will be able to finish a small portion of the significance of the dignity and the honor of Hujur Bhakti and Allah Yusallam. Allah Pak has given him that, that much of honor and dignity, that much significance, that much of wisdom from the beginning of the creation till the end he has been given, he has been rendered, bestowed upon with all those wisdom and everything. Those people, those who are, who have been destined as hell dwellers, as ill manners, bad manners, bad etiquette, they will never get the hedaya of Allah. Pa. Let Allah Pak bless us with the wisdom to realize the dignity and honor of Hudud Pak Sallallahu and follow him in minutest detail. It has been said that Hudud Pak Sallallahu is everything less being Allah Pak himself. But all other wisdom, all other significance, all other abilities, and everything has been pressed out to him, has been given to him. Allah Park is one. Allah's name, has been given the name Ahmad. Other than Muhammad and Ahmad, if the mean, if the mean from the Ahmad is deleted, it becomes Ahad. That means Allah. So, so these are all discussed by this speaker about the uh, significance, importance of the Prophet of in his name. The next speaker spoke about spending money 
in honor in honor of Sayyid Raya Shaykh, that is the first of Rabi Ulawa Shaykh, great birthday, Bela the Shaykh, the word birthday is never enough to express the day of his appearance on this earth. He was definitely created much, much before than that. But his worldly appearance here on this earth is on this earth, as we would always say, on Monday. And in his honor, with a view to celebrating this day, this spending money, is a question. Anything, celebrating anything needs some money, worldly affairs. You have to spend some money for eating, good eating, good wearing. There will be time that people have people will have to spend money in order to celebrate. Any celebration is involved with some monetary expenditure. You have to have some good food, you have to wear some good dress, and you have to express your happiness in some gifting and all. All are required, all are involved with monetary expenditure. You have to spend some money. And this is related with that expression of happiness, which Allah said that you express happiness, folly of Rahu. Rejoice that you have your if someone is blessed if someone is blessed with the sun, he is very happy. So he distributes sweets and someone else comes to see that baby will come with some gifts, some dresses, some money some fruits, he has to do some hospitality. These are all related with spending money. Someone has to spend some money. Without spending only with saying a verbal expression is not enough. And this is a very practical thing, very reality. But and these are these are practically being done. Someone is inviting people for a good dinner, for a good lunch, for a good meal. These are all very with money. Even if someone is having that cash, he goes to borrow them in order to express his happiness. That his son has been he has been blessed with the son, or his grown up son has done a good result in education, or got a good job or his daughter is being married to someone good. So he does all his possible, he, he makes all possible efforts to make it a social one. And these are all related to spending money. Same way, the same way we have discussed enough, there has been a lot of references in order to celebrate this great day, Sayyid al this is also involved spending money. When someone is blessed with the sun, people say you have to become a doctor or something, which means that that which brings more money. So he becomes he is being taught and he becomes someone anchor of the money, well. He, he becomes completely absorbed in worldly affairs. He doesn't get on the path. He doesn't care for the world here, hereafter. But one should realize that Allah is the best. Allah is the only provider of risk. That means livelihood, earning, other things. Everything is risk. Allah gives the best. All His creatures, birds, insects, all animals, everybody is fed every day by Allah. He has taken responsibility of this risk. Allah says, 
that you human beings, members of the human race, spend in my cause. I'll give you whatever you need. I'm the giver. I'm only the giver. Nobody else. You do for me, I do for you. You do spend in honor of my Rasul. I'll be happy for that and you'll be paid back. It has been said that if someone feels that he is lacking, lacking in his pawn, he should spend some in the path of Allah. So he'll be paid back. This said in Salam Allah Sharif, Allah Pak described in Quran Sharif. In many in many different references, with different references that spent in the for the cause of Allah Pak, Allah Pak will pay you back. These are all related. These are all in related, all related with the expenditures. Those who do not do, it's miser, they'll be also paid back in the same way. Their hands will never be full. They'll remain in more. So to achieve success on this world, one has to give his time, one has to give his money, one has to give his toil, physical and mental. So these are to be these are the things are to be thought pondered. These are points to ponder. Sayyid al Sharif, celebration of Sayyid al Sharif, this concept has been given from Radha Bhakti of Dhaka, Bangladesh. It has been long four years and it's going on. That keep celebrating Indian for unlimited period. One thing is very clear. Even if you pour all your perfume on bad things, on waste, human waste, the, the smell will never be off. Muslim's condition has become like this that spending spending the valuable things in the cause of Allah Park. It doesn't un they don't un realize like a chicken is given a fowl is given some grains of a small money, five ten taka grains, some rice, some wheat. He takes that. But if he is given jewels, stones, gems, he doesn't accept that. Muslims have become like this. Muslims don't accept the good things, they accept the small things. Time will, time will never wait for anybody. A, a day will come that he'll be diminished. Before that, one must, if one, if one can complete something, then it is only if someone can do in this lifetime the good things, the virtuous things, then only he gets some success. But someone's heart or someone's mind is full of bad concepts and all, he can never make it. So he has he has he has to one has to take discipleship, that is by us from a shire. And then he has to do the sub of the lessons that is and person first, the decade, 
only then his bad things, evil things from his heart will be out and he will be able to perform good things. This has to be thought about. People don't realize all these things. It has been said that people don't even do the Zikr Askar, they don't come at all. He doesn't meet the Shai, so what is it? He's not coming in contact. He doesn't do, he will come frequently into his Shai, he will not be able to realize him. his mistakes, his devilish things. He has to do all this and he should not be closed fisted. He should not show me. He should not be behaving like a miser. He has to spend some money, get some books, get, read those books, impart the lessons to his family members to his children, to his wife, to his relatives, and to some session, reading session. So everybody realizes what is to be done. And for that, he has to arrange the books, the session, Mila session, Anjuman session. Once a child is born, the azan is done. But why this azan? Will, will he be saying his prayers, offering his prayers? Or does he understand that? No. One has to realize why that azan is given. It is the first very word, Allah's word, given to the ears of that newly born baby. The very words of the Adhan given, the lessons imparted, the first very words given to the baby. to make a son a really parents are really responsible for his for their child's growing up for their child's pointing towards Allah Park. If the son wants to keep beard, the parent brother say do not keep it now. So it is the parent's responsibility to grow me up. As per Islam, as per Quran, as per Hadith, to put it in the path of the Supreme Lord is for now. It is said that every child is born in the path of Allah, but with the, with the time, with the growing time. His, friend, his parents, his friends, relatives make him a sheep or take him away from the path. He gets us as prey. All the days, important days of Islam, Rabiullah Wal Sharif, month of Ramadan, the Shabe Qadr, Shabe Barat, all these days to be performed, to be celebrated by this child. Who will teach them? Who will teach him? His parents. But if that is not practiced in that family, there is not at all there are.
And therefore, it will be responsible for the parents to have session of proceeding for the children, for the family members to recite Mirad Sharif to in order to put the children in line. But Muslims, are we? Muslims, we are not doing anything in this line. What we are doing? Listening to some music and following the games, cricket, football, tennis, all of the games. Being watched the television, being listened, being hard over different media sending messages and all to the so relentlessly following the cockpit, non-Muslims, music, the ringtone, the very ringtone is the music, photographs in the music, photographs, in the, even, a, even a mobile is full of photos, all those unallowed things on the are uh, unrestricted things in the Muslim's lifestyle and is dying as Kafka. There yeah, was a dog, a stuff, the very under, not directly, but from the cave of a mountain. But he will be awarded because he served the very under. He will be taken into the heaven in the form of a human being. So there has to be sessions of teaching sessions, learning sessions for the children. I have to read books, boys or girls, male or female, they have to come in contact with the Shaykh Alayhi Salaam, they have to do the zikir, they have to do the tabak, the lessons, perform the other rituals and come in direct, come in frequent contact with the Shaykh so that he doesn't, he doesn't his ways, but every day remembers things to be done. Surah Fatiha Sharif has got seven ayat Sharif. It has to be read in every rakat. If he leaves one of this, his namaz will not be, his namaz will be void. Every time, Surah Fatiha is the mother of the Quran, the Kumbul Quran. Surah Fatiha Sharif is one of the greatest verses which Muslims do not think about, do not much realize its importance in the, in the whole of the Quran period. Beyond all, one, one has to maintain the best possible ador adoration for the Prophet and his the maximum possible adoration, maximum possible celebration for this day, for the Prophet and for him this day. How much attention, how much importance to be given to this very day? 
it has to be fought by the Muslims. It has to be realized by the Muslims. Then one of one of these examples is this: in a well, if, if, if there is a dead body, about dead animal, so it be a cat or a dog or a cow or anything. Whatever amount of water is removed from that well, from that well, the smell or the water will never be pure, unless that soul. Corpse itself, the, the, the dead body itself, the polluted body itself is removed. It will never be done. It will never be pure. One has to remove that bad element first, and then certain amount of water removed, it will be gradually all right. So people have also bought maybe bad things in their heart. So that has to be removed first, and that is only possible through. That means breathing in, breathing out. Inhale and exhale. And for that, whatever, whoever first takes a Bayad Sharif, discipleship from the Shah, he is given such and such. While breathing in and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. So that one. Pasan first, whenever Pasan first is done, the, the evil thing will be out for one's heart and the good things. Love for Allah will come in. Through this Pasan first, gradually it will, it, it will be continuing in him all and he will be able to, able to achieve success. A gentleman goes outside the overseas country, works, earns money, and then comes back. We are We're discussing, telling people every day, broadcasting that you have to do your everyday rituals nicely in detail without leaving. And then come to, come to the Darbashar to achieve Sohabat, companion Shiva Shayab. Do the Zikir, do other rituals, and then only. You can earn your success. Let Allah Pak rest of us with the abilities to perform all these jobs. Okay, gentlemen, let me now there will be a break for for the prayer tahajjud prayers around uh, 30 to 40 minutes. At the end of that, we will have we'll have Melar Sharif and then we'll have the final prayers. The importance of this night can never be expressed completely by anybody. Now, now we will have a break for the other and then we will come back inshallah.